Let's see. One shove, two shove, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I got seven. So, um, let's see. Get all my mounted units into position. Uh, you, uh, you're gonna need to be right here. Uh, all my regular units in position as well. Uh, okay. Really having to think this one through. Oh, this is just, uh, this is irksome. All right, all right. Let's see what we can do with this. So let's see. I need to move. I need to shove Ike twice. So Ike is uh nine. So my heaviest units have to shove Ike. I need. All right, you two shove Ike. So you will shove here. You will shove here. All right. All right. Um, now we need uh, Soren is six. So uh, can you shove Soren? You can. All right, good. All right. So we need to shove Soren two. Then we need to shove Rolf three. Um. All right. So. <sighs> I am really, really racking my brain for this one. Alright, so you can do this, and you, where are you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang it! I had him in a bad position. Alright, so you can do this. Um, and Soren needs one more shove, so... The reason I'm not moving them yet is because, alright, so you need three. One, two, three. So. Shove. Shove. I want to make sure they're all in range before I actually go through the, this. And shove. Alright, so. You can get him. Oh, you can hit him. You can hit him. You can hit him. Alright. Operation Hope This Works, let's go. Okay. 97% chance. Don't miss. Alright, 16. Just make sure I got all my damage right. 16. Plus 8. Shoot. Uh, that's 24. 24. Plus 14. One short! Mmm. Dang it. One short. Um, how did that come about? <laughs> how did it come about that I'm one short? Uh, 24 minus 11 is 13. Four, okay, 13. Okay, your attack is 19. What? Oh, 19. Fried. Ah, uh, thing. Twenty-four plus fourteen is only thirty-eight. Ah, uh, gosh, dang it! You're doing sixteen, right? You are. Yeah, sixteen. Mount sixteen. So, sixteen. Oh, you're one short. Ah, oh, how could you? Ah. Uh, Really, really misfortunate situation. Oh man. Um. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to. Uh. Ah. Uh, sheesh. This is just not good. Okay. Pull everyone back. Make sure everyone still has range. I'm gonna have to replace Ike with Boyd. It's just what's gonna have to happen. So I'm gonna have to replace Ike with Boyd. Ugh, dang it. 
so bent on I going in for it too, just because the the hit is just it's good, it's gonna work. And then I just doesn't have enough power, but Boyd doesn't have the accuracy. Is it's gonna be what? Uh, 76. Ugh. Mainly because yeah, axe base hit bad. Oh man. Wait, didn't Oscar get? Um. Oh, I sent it to the convoy. <laughs> uh, dang. This is just not working out in my favor. Wait. Eight. Regal Sword has. Okay. I might have a chance here. I might have a chance. It's gonna take... Oh, well, I does have a Steel Sword. Alright. Alright. Well. Wasted time aside. Let's reposition the units. Uh, the way they were. Soren was one step above Bolt, right? This is Soren. Soren was one step above Bolt. Uh, we need Rolf. It's right here. We need to drop all the units that are being carried. Drop here. And wait. And drop here. Wait. Alright. Uh, all my units back in position. Move Volk out of the way. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. This should be it. Five. I haven't. Legal sword of seven. All right. Oh, what the flip? I don't like that fact of that, but I believe Ike's hit will be better than Boyd's regardless, right? One oh seven, and then he gets a boost from the uh, fact that sword beat axes. All right. Well, I'm just gonna have to hope and pray for the best with this one. All right. So start with starting with with Ike. So we gotta shove Ike twice, and. Then we have to uh, shove Soren twice. Um, no, not staff. Uh, shove and you to him and go back. Then we need to shove Soren one more time. So, Steel Sword, what's that look like? 82. Well, it's better than Boyd's one would be 76. Wait, 15? Okay. Alright, let's see. So, this is a 16. So, 16 plus. Uh. Plus 8. That's 24 plus 15. Alright, this should be it. This should be it. So, let's. let's Fingers crossed, hope this works. You, you're just like us. You eat meat, you ride horses. I mean, come on. We're not hurting any humans here. What's wrong with buying and selling a few half-breeds? And... Soren has no answer to that because Soren personally doesn't care, but, you know... Eh. Dang. Doesn't matter right now. Alright. 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 Final, final hit. It's all on you, Ike. It's all on you. Trying to steal our cargo? You're no better than us. Some of our customers are nobles. You won't get away with this unscathed, let me tell you. What? Nobles? Don't play dumb with me. Take this. No! Ike! Why? Ike! How could you? Why? Why have you done this to me? Oh my gosh, no. Ike, why? Why would you do that? Oh my gosh, <laughs> Ike. Oh, you had an 82. How could you miss? How could you miss? Oh, oh man. Oh, misfortunous mishaps. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh man. This is. 
the worst possible situation that could have occurred. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna have to end this turn and hope this works. What? Hey, you! Why don't you lay down your weapons and walk out of here with your lives? You can posture as much as you want, but there's no way you can beat us. Shut it! I don't know why you're here, but if we lose our cargo, we lose everything. It ain't happening. In that case, you've no, we've no choice. You'll receive no mercy from us. Ah, Rolf, no, no, no. Ow. Hate you so much. Ah, barrel one. Ow. Oh, okay. I wish the boss would hurry up and attack Ike. Eight. Resistance. Gosh dang it, Ike. Why don't you get some skill? Come on. Come on, Ike! Yes! Yes! I did it! Ah! Oh, Operation Failure was a success! Oh, man. Oh. Well, Ike, you... You tried to screw me, but you inevitably failed. So... Nah! How did this happen? I've lost everything. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so glad that worked. Otherwise, that would have been an hour and 20 minutes down the drain. Oh, so now you get the good level up. Yeah, yeah. And you still didn't even get skill, I don't think. So that's a good level. We're done here. Thank, thank. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It's a good thing the boss didn't move, I guess. I thought I could have sworn he would move, but all right, fine. He doesn't move, that's fine with me. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Our duty is done. Let's grab the cargo and get out of here. Alright. Well, that... Oh, that was close. The Grail mercenaries have returned. Well done. The news of your victory is welcome, as is the cargo you seized. Now about your payment. Wait, this mysterious cargo was a bunch of really heavy crates. Would you tell me what they contained? That... Your job was to deliver the cargo. You know, you've no need to investigate further. But... Princess Alencia has returned to her quarters. You would do well to inform her of your safe return. <sighs> it appears the Apostle will handle your payment on the morrow. Perhaps you can speak with her then. I beg your leave. I must be going. Very well. Ugh. Pretty sure I know what's in the crates, uh, honestly, but... What? I don't remember this. Um... Alright, I remember this now. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming, my fellow Lagoose Kings. It's been decades since all of us were gathered in one place. I would extend my gratitude to King Degencia, I think. Degencia? I'll go with that. Of Galdawa, who arranged this meeting place in a short at short notice. It was nothing, King this guy. Fellow kings and countrymen, attend to my words. As you no doubt have heard, the Inn has invaded Crimea and overrun her. Of course, Crimea is a Bjork nation. However, since the time of her founding, she has made every effort to engage the Lagoos with honor and dignity. 
Never has this been more true than during the 30 year reign, reign, rank, reign of good King Raymond. During his era, during his era, Gallia and Crimea initiated many ambitious cultural projects in an attempt to bring our divided people closer. Yet one man has always reviled our work, the day in King Ashnard. Why he took this recent course, however, I know not. Ashnard's actions are monstrous. His army has put much of Crimea to the sword. Her people live in terror. Her king lies dead. And now, Dayan forces continue their ruinous march and across the border into Lagoose territory. Into Gallia. That trespass, O king of lions, is because your country chooses to harbor Cr King Crimea's orphan, is it not? Yes, that is the justification they would present. But the princess of Crimea is no longer in Gallia, is she? Your spies are as efficient as ever, King Tabarna Phonesis. As you say, the princess has already departed for Benyon. I know this only because she came to the aid of a ship carrying Benyon's apostle. Ah, so Princess Alencia is safe and in contact with the Benyon Empire. That news gladdens my heavy heart. I do not believe that Dayen yet has this information. If word got out that the Princess of Crimea has been granted sanctuary in Benyon, Dayen might halt its invasion of Gallia. Your information is dated, Hawk King. Have your legendary eyes and ears abandoned you after all these years? You have something you wish to say? Would you be so kind as to explain yourself, King Kilvis? Princess Alencia barely escaped Crimea with her life and then fled to Gallia. And yet a certain king of beasts there, one on whom she had pinned all her hope, chose not to support her. With nowhere else to turn, the princess and her re retinue spent two long months at sea, arriving in Benyon mere days ago. Dayan knows of these events as well, and the king has dispatched a team of hunters to make a corpse of the girl. And that, dear kings, is the latest news, at least to the best of my poor knowledge. Dayan knows the princess, princess is in Benyon? King Kilvis, how did you come to possess this information? Why, there's no trick to it. I just perk up my ears and point them in the right direction. You expect us to believe that a stray one carried to your ears? This is an odd tale, Nesala. Hmm? Do you think so? Well, there's one trick to information gathering that I know. Shall I share it with you? If it involves dealing with human scum, I'll pass. Forgoing my Lagoose pride is not something I'm willing to do. Ha! Is that not always the way of Phonesis, to cling to those last tattered remnants of pride? Instead of proclaiming that you will attack none but Binyon ships, just admit that you don't have the power to do more. What did you say? Both of you will desist at once. King Nesal of Kilvis, your actions of late can indeed be judged as too extreme. Black Dragon, King of Galdoa, what do you pretend to know of my actions? Please, enlighten me. I would remind you of the Bjork ship you attacked in Phoenician waters, and left stranded in Galdoan territory. Oh, that. Nesala, you lying crow, you've been sneaking about my territory again, have you? I heard from my own son, Kirthnaga, that a Bjork resembling Princess Crimea was on board that ship. It is true. What? King Kilvis, you... Don't act surprised. I have no intention of ruling some tiny island nation forever. I will make Kilvis a name to remember. To that end, no amount of gold is enough. The Goos or Bjork, I care not. If the pay is right, there's nothing I won't do. I care not about the reach of your ambition, but you should choose your methods with more care. What good will it do you to expand your domain, only to find enemies at your every border? I will take your words to heart for the time being. And you too, King Phonesis. What good will your piracy do if it earns you the wrath of Benyon? Continue at this pace, and there's no telling when the hostilities will end. Until the people of Binyon apologize for the slaughter of our brother Herons, I will do no such, I will do no such thing. Prince Rayson of Serenis? Serenese. Serenese. Are you of the same mind? Those humans burned Serenese forest and killed my people. No amount of human blood can stake my... Stake? Slake? I can't tell if it's an L or a T. I think it's an L. Can slake my thirst for vineyards. For my siblings, for my countrymen, I demand justice. I cannot even return my bedroom and father to our forest home. I am no soldier. I know nothing of war. So King Phoenicius at... Phoenicius. <laughs> Phoenicius acts in my stead. I'm most grateful to him, and I would not see him stop until Binyon has paid. Blood leads only to blood, and violence begets violence. Nothing more. Revenge is simply another name for murder. Nothing. And you, King of Lions, what will you do about your home of Gallia? Now that you know Dayan's feint toward Gallia is merely another move in this game of war, in his game of war, how will you act? 
They've made no formal declaration of war. Until they do, we watch and wait. If it's the first step towards eradicating all human scum, Phonesis will help you destroy Dayan. No, unless this becomes a true war among all nations, I want you to stay your hand. As long as Gallia is protected by the Sea of Trees, we can slip we can stave off Dayan's attacks. Ah, the luxury of a large nation. You would waste a chance to expand your territory just to maintain the status quo. Sad. I agree with King Gallia. If we were to form a Laguz alliance against Dayan, we would drive Binyon to Dayan's side and lose a valuable ally. The flames of war cannot be fanned haphazardly. Above all, we must think of Lirent's medallion. Its location is unknown. But it still exists. We know this. As long as it does, we can not allow any war that can stand to engulf all our nations. Do you understand, Lagoose Kings? I beg of you, do not forget it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, clear bonus. Meh. I was full- I was- I was not losing a unit to that jerk. Thankfully, it didn't happen. So, we're golden. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, bye.